What is up everyone? I'm back again with a, another pickup video. Um, I've got a mixture of some DVDs, the VHS, some swaps I've done at the swap shop, my last swap shop, and some comics. Um, so I do the games that I swapped at the swap shop. Um, was last month I appeared on swap shop. Really enjoyed myself, um, and thanks to then Retro Chef to helping me get over the um, 100 sub mark. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, so that's a few things I traded off to people. Um, one of the one things I had was I swapped a few Assassin's Creed game and a few PS2 games. Well, scope it was, you probably comment, and I got for the PS3 I obtained Dead Men, I didn't have it, and Mirror's Edge. Love Mirror's Edge. So that's sort of one little uh, trade I've done after the shop. And the other one I've done was with Danny, is it Danny from Press Start Gaming. He had, <coughs> there, was a few, there was a few things I had that he wanted. One was a, two was like, I think, Two, one was Game Boy Finals, one was Game, one was Game Boy Game, and sort of uh, I, he wanted some cases and all. But so in total, but what I got from him was well, one game, I got a Game Boy Game and an Xbox One Game. Xbox One Game I got is Batman Arkham Knight. Had this multiple times, kept got, kept getting rid of it for whatever reason, but I, I won't this time. Um, yeah. I was like, when you came it had the Harley Quinn um, story pack. I was like, oh, I'm going to take, take a risk, see if it works. If it does, it does, if it don't, it don't. Tried it, actually worked. Which was a nice little, uh, little Brucey bonus. What was for me anyway? And the other game I, I, I got from him was a, a Game Boy game. Um, kept, I can't listen this, it's not the same as it's a, a common game for Game Boy. Well, to me, it is anyway. Um, take looking on CX, I was like, it, it, you know, CX, you're taking a risk. <clears throat> um, that's not, yeah, Danny had it, so I traded the room, and that is NBA Jam 99. So, uh, this is the end of Danny, I know he's it, guaranteed to work them. Nice little thing. <coughs> um, I do the four DVDs I've got. Um, nothing too, too special. Um, got a few of DVDs that sort of I want to watch or don't then have. Um, one is I'm, I'm a big, big war guy. Um, so I've got Dunkirk. Heard me, I've heard mixed things about it. Um, some people say it's really good, uh, some people say it's a bit naff. Um, I've not seen it, so I can't really judge. The other thing I've got is, but I think I think I need one more in this sort of in this trilogy. I think like I don't know if I don't know what I would or not. That's the Hobbit, the Dissident of Smog, Smuggle, Smuggle, whatever. Um, yeah, it's a Hobbit. I guarantee it's a fucking. Sh oh, actually, maybe not. One sec. Similar sort of length to the Lord, the actual Lord of the Rings films. Um, and, oh, thank you. A lot of the Rings films were unnecessarily long, in my opinion. Um, I've got two Batman films, well, one's, both got Batman in it, one's a Scooby-Doo and Batman one. So first, that's Scooby-Doo beat meets Batman. Um... Can't do wrong Shibri, we can't and you can't do wrong Batman. But in this order, you've got Batman and Robin, you got um Dota and Penguin. Who else? I think that's it. I've seen it before, it's actually uh so your barrel of laughs. This I've got um I need I need, I need the first one. Because I said I told you the first one, I don't really, I don't really want to watch the second one. That's Batman and Dark Knight Returns Part 2. Meant to be, these are meant to be fantastic. Not seen it. I think I, I want to say I've seen it. I'm not sure if I've seen it or not. So I'm going to say I haven't, I'm going to say I haven't seen it just in case. I got that. 
uh, the loan plot of VHS. Um, with VHS, I, I know a while back I got my Kevin Smith one, I was like, I'm going to stick with this Kevin Smith VHS. That's what I'm going to stick with. When me so, I sort of said to Luke, who owns it, I said, I'll drop you down to sell or ding off me. Done a deal. As we're talking about the VHS, I'm like, I said to him, I, I should, I, I, I'm looking at VHS since I bought the Tim and Smith ones. I was like, there's one that I had when I picked up the Tim and Smith ones a few months ago, which was Saving Brother Ryan. He didn't have it. I was like, okay, I'm not going to do it one. But this is, this, the spine kept, kept calling me. It was like, Bill, you want me? Bill, I need to be in your collection. So I was like, I said to him, like, literally, as soon as he gave me the money, I was like, straight back in his hands, I'm, I'm getting this. Um, he gave me the change, obviously. And that is Batman! I was like, fucking bright yellow. It was like, old school Batman. But it's like, five episodes, you got how many herons in a wheelbarrow, a bird out of hands, from Catwoman with Love. The one thousand one faces of the Riddler and the cool, cruel Mister Freeze, but if it, it it was like this has to be my collection. So yeah, um, I got so I was so now I got four VHSs. So it's it's still a fucking you. It's starting to become a little bit of a collection. Um, so now what I'm going to do is end on the comics. Um, because, yeah. I've been reading my comics recently. Um, so I don't, one of them is a recent issue, and that is Poison Ivy issue 4. Um, and mate, mate Jamie's mate was getting this with his daughter, I think, the, like, two weeks ago. And I sort of messaged Jamie, like, mate Jamie last week, said, like, Issue four, issue four is out. Let your mate know for his daughter. That's if he's, that's if she's enjoying it. Um, he's not told Jamie. He's not said to me. My mate thinks you're a cunt for recommending it, so she must be somewhat enjoying it. <coughs> All right, um, Star Trek: The Mirror War. Now this is a confusing book because The Mirror War, and there's also Star Trek: The Mirror War. Ones from what I can work out, we've got these ones. There's been two of these ones. By the sounds of it, is by the looks of it, two. They're stories, but one character. So this is a Troy one. Each one's going to be a, a different character, where well, the other one is a overarching story. From what I can tell. If that's not the case, but no. Um, the other thing I've got is I've read this the other night. So I know. So now I've got to wait for white, the White Knight books for having on the story. But that's Batman, White Knight Presents of Red Hoods. Um, I enjoyed it. It's basically a Robin train of Robin, in a sense. Um, I'm, yes, I, I'm enjoying it. Um, the fact that I'm still picking up clean shows, I'm still enjoying it. This is a book that... <clears throat> next book is basically... Every now and then, when I go to the pick up my new books, John the owner of the local comic book shop says uh, he's putting a book that he thinks I might be interested in picking up. This was one of them. I initially thought it was a um like normal book, but it's like actually little four little stories in one from my little of it. But it was, but it went to a page. I was like. Actually, hold on, it was a bit more than it was 7.15. But it's in, sort of, in the Harley animated series world, and that is the Harley Quinn, the animated series, the real sidekicks of New Gotham special, and that is a fucking mouthful. There was, so obviously, a lot, I loved the the six issues they've done between, I think, season two and three. This, I, I don't know if you, like, nearly a week, I've not read it yet. But what one of the stories I'm quite interested in, obviously, is the Harley Quinn Poison Ivy bit, but also the Batgirl bit. I'm big, but I want, I want it more into Batgirl. 
that is a character. I've got a couple, like two, three books. I want to get into that character a little bit more. To be fair, because I'm still relatively new into reading comics, <laughs> I'm picking up pan books every now and then. But I'm looking at the books, I've got Swamp Thing, I've got 90 Spider Man, I've got obviously like some, some Bat Girls. These are books I want to read, so at some point, anytime I go to a, a comic book shop, whether it's my local or I go no base with Ed, which at some point I need to wear, at some point near me and Ed sort of work and have a trip, I'm going to look at, I'm going to sort of stick up, as I go to Undig, I'm going to pick two, one, one or two sort of characters or stories, try and find a few from that. Because I've got a couple of books or stories or characters that I want more of. Um, and Batgirls is one of them. Harley Quinn, I'm, I'm happy. The one I'm looking for Harley Quinn, these, if I'm, these animated series ones, I'm happy. Anything else is a bonus. The Poison Ivy ones, I'm guessing it a character in this book. So that's book with one and six, plus the Poison Army book I was trying to make it go. But the, the Poison Army book, the art in that is fantastic. So, like, if this for me, for me, that Poison Army book, even if the story is dog shit, the art justifies me paying for it because I'm enjoying the art. Now, one more book. I bought this today. I have read this, so I can actually talk to you about it properly. <laughs> it's a Kevin Smith book, and that is Masquerade. Now, um, when he sort of when he put the video out saying about this, it was what he's now doing. For people that don't know, he was sitting on the, on the front. I was in a sec. In a sec he's ba- I'll show you. I'll show you. So he's basically doing the James Bond press. So it's basically his own little press type. So it's his stories like the Masquerade, which we'll talk about in a sec. And there's one coming out in about a month and a half, which is Quick Stops, which I pre-ordered. But so he's a bit. He's a his stories. He's like this is an original. This is a new character, an original character, very nineties grip, which was he sold as. And he's, they're publishing it through Dark Horse, which I don't obviously because the other books a month and a half away, I can't really judge on that one. But this, even if I want a Kevin Smith book, I've, and I read this, I still think, yeah, that's a perfect um, Dark Horse uh, book because it sort of go, it, it goes with what they uh, with what they do. Um, the art style. Um, It's uh, the main character. I won't get, I won't get a name. It isn't Scarlet. I enjoy. Uh, there's some of the art. Right. It's like uh, one thing she does is especially like a vigilante. But her helmet. She's in this one. She's catching someone who, who's been. For, or the, I'm, I'm guessing they'll sort of probably explain why soon. But when she captured her, that person, she used her helmet to sort of copy their face. Um, which I was like, oh, I like that. I can always hear in there. Um, so that, if you've not read Master 8, I reckon that's not basically my recommendation of the week. So yes, guys, that is my pickups. Nothing too sort of too big, but I think that's... Uh, 14, 15 minutes is the sort of sweet spot. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Guys enjoy it. Um, and yeah, I hope to speak to you guys. So any of the, like I said, any, if you're a comic book reader, any of these books I recommend. So yeah, ciao for now guys and speak to you soon.